Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Henry Ong, president of SIMCC, and today we're delighted to have uh, with us the deputy leader of technology from the National University of Singapore and Singapore's National Cybersecurity uh, Research and Development Lab. Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is we're going to share with you about our latest uh, academic competition that we're offering in cybersecurity. Okay, so this is the National Junior Cybersecurity Olympiad running for the first time worldwide uh, uh, that we are launching with our 47 partners around the world. Okay, what we're trying to do is popularize the field of cybersecurity among high school uh, and university students, organize uh, uh, additional training in cybersecurity to enhance students' knowledge and interest in hopefully. Uh, a very interesting emerging profession. Okay, so as you can see, there are so many cyber uh, crimes online and a lot of national security as well as private interest, personal interest in this particular topic. So hopefully this will stimulate a desire for you to study additional technology and cyber security topics. Okay, so we are running this uh, together with our nonprofit foundation, Scholastic Trust Singapore, and in partnership with the National University of Singapore's non-profit foundation, the Center for Nurturing Computing Excellence, along with Singapore's National Cybersecurity Research and Development Laboratory. Okay, so what is NJCO and who is it for? So this particular program is targeted for students from grades 8 to 12. Okay, so in Singapore, there will be for students from SEC2 all the way to JC2, including students from ITE and Polytechnics. Okay. And what we hope to do is to give you some of the technologies and knowledge that you will need to become the next generation of cybersecurity uh, professionals. Uh, and you will get also a certificate accredited by uh, the NCL as well as the SENSE. Okay. Uh, both of them are hosted at the School of Computing at the National University of Singapore, which is ranked the top eight university in the world. And the School of Computing is ranked the top six computing school in the world. So NJCO's outstanding students will have the recognition to pursue their futures. Hopefully uh, for you to use this to apply for some of the best fit universities around the world. Okay, so this program involves a uh, free training. Okay, it's a video recorded training for eight hours by professors at NUS and a contest that will be uh, taken uh, in on September 15 this year. Okay, so the timeline for this is that registrations have opened. The video recordings are already ready. So it's at your own time. You can sign on to the classes and after the lectures, do the assignments. They will be auto marked for you. And then uh, registrations will close on August 25th. So if you are keen, please sign up. If you know friends who are interested in cybersecurity, please encourage them to sign up by August 25th uh, because we will close registrations by then. Uh, and then on September 15, uh, we will be running the final contest online for all the students from around the world. Okay, so. Okay, so let me uh, invite uh, Nicholas to share with you the next few slides. Over to you, Nicholas. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Nicholas. I am the Deputy Head of Technology at uh, National Cybersecurity Lab. Uh, this is uh, the team, and of course, we are. We also have uh, Prof Santik, which is a uh, director for SENSE. Uh, Prof uh, Chan Yi Chen, which is the uh, PI, a lead PI for uh, NCL, and also uh, Professor Liang Zheng Kai, also a PI for NCL. And then uh, our trainers, uh, Liu Yanchen, our head of technology, uh, Felix Wong, which is our infrastructure engineer. And then we have uh, the rest of our team. They didn't uh, participate in training, but uh, they are all supporting us uh, for, the, for the lab. Next, please. Now the syllabus for the NJCO, we have uh, four main topics that we'll, that we'll be covering. Uh, cryptography, network fundamentals, rate teaming and introduction to CTF. 
and uh, the last topic will be digital forensic. Each of this will be uh, two hours long with uh, exercise and so on. Uh, they will help you understand all the different technologies and uh, of that is uh, relevant to cybersecurity. Next, please. Now, uh, for cryptography, uh, we will be looking at things like encryption, hash techniques, the different uh, pitfalls, as well as the historical context of uh, cryptography. It's a very interesting uh, topic, and uh, we'll learn how to uh, exercise adversarial thinking through examples. Adversarial thinking is central to cybersecurity, uh, which is thinking like the enemy. Right, how the en how the enemy is going to attack us? We must think like them. If we don't, then we will be uh, very restricted in the way that we uh, approach cybersecurity. Right. Next, please. Uh, network fundamentals. We will introduce uh, how network is being set up. We will introduce a tool that we use for network. Uh, research which is a uh, wireshark right so uh, we will we will use wireshark as an example to go through uh, how a typical network access is being uh, performed right next please now in uh, red teaming uh, red teaming is basically how uh, a, a person or how a team can attack Right, so we are looking at how the different uh, ways that attacking can happen. And CTF, uh, which is the capture the flag, is a, is a form of competition that is uh, very useful in teaching cybersecurity. Um, so in this, in this uh, topic, we will introduce how CTF is being conducted, how is how the different uh, challenges can be uh, performed. All right. And uh, of course, through this, we will learn about cybersecurity. The last topic is uh, digital forensic. Digital forensic is how we figure out what is happening. Right. So forensic meaning you look at the evidence and you try to decipher what is happening. What has happened? Right, so it's something in the past. We want to ex we want to uh, explore what has happened, and uh, there are different types of evidence. How we collect this evidence? How we uh, massage this evidence into something useful for us to figure out the timeline, for us to figure out the attack path, and so on. Right. Next. Okay, great. Thank you so much, uh, Nicholas. Okay, so now I will uh, go to the awards. But before I go to the awards, I will quickly uh, go to the uh, exam format. Okay, so the NJCO contest taken after the workshop. Okay, that means that after the eight hour workshop on September 15, you will be getting 40 multiple choice questions and we divide them into 10 questions for each of the four topics that Nicholas shared just now. And each correct answer will give you two and a half points and there will be no points deducted for wrong or incorrect answers okay so uh, for each level we're expecting over 4,000 students uh, worldwide to join this competition and so what we'll be doing is that for each grade level from uh, sec 2 or grade 8 okay you'll be grouped into one group so the top students uh, will then be given awards and so forth so every grade level will have their own uh, um, group okay the only group uh, that we are considering putting together depends depending on the enrollment will be grades 11 and 12 or in Singapore that will be JC junior college one and two okay so that's how uh, the awards uh, the contest will be run so here how are we going to give out the awards so basically uh, at NUS uh, uh, the uh, gold medals will be given to the top 112 of students, which is about 8.3%. Okay, all these are subject to a cutoff point, okay, a minimum qualifying cutoff point uh, for uh, the cohort that are taking it. 
So uh, the top 8%, 8.3% will get gold. The next uh, 1.6 or 16.7 will get silver. And the next 25% or one quarter of the contestants will get a bronze medal. So this is subject to NUS imposing a minimum qualifying score for each award. Okay. So from there, Basically, the winners will get a certificate. I just want to point out that the policy at the National University of Singapore is that if you do not score above zero, that means you get zero, okay, or you didn't attend, you will not get a certificate of participation. So only students who score a non-zero will get a certificate. Then the uh, winners will get uh, certificates of uh, distinction and so forth, okay? Okay, from there, Basically, the winners of uh, bronze medal and above for the National Junior Cybersecurity Olympiad, okay, uh, will be invited to join the International Junior Cybersecurity Olympiad. We ran our first IJCO last year in Bali, Indonesia. So this year will be the second run of the IJCO, and it will be hosted in uh, Istanbul, Turkey. Okay, so we are expecting a very uh, strong turnout because we have already gotten support from many of our Middle East, Central Asian and African partners, even the North and South American partners are delighted that uh, it will be hosted uh, in uh, Turkey, which is the gateway to the Middle East and Europe. Okay, so if you know the history of Turkey, half part of it is in Asia, part of it is in Europe. Okay, so very, very interesting, uh, wonderful historical place. Okay, so you also see mention of Dr. C.T. Medalist. So in case you do not win a bronze medal at the IJC NJCO, uh, hopefully the contestants who have taken Dr. C.T. and NJCO, uh, if they at least get a bronze medal for Dr. C.T., the secondary school students from grades 8 and above will be invited uh, to join IJCO in Turkey. Okay, so next, uh, registration. So um, you've seen registration is now open. Registration will close on August the 25th. So uh, if you are from Singapore, please sign up to our MDP portal and you'll be able to sign up directly for the contest. Uh, for Singapore private candidates, you can sign up through the portal. If you are a school candidate and you would like to join through the school, because uh, in Singapore, if you join through your school, you only pay half of the rate. Otherwise, you have to pay the full private candidate rate. Uh, the school rate is half of the private candidate rate. Okay, so please contact your teacher. And uh, if they don't know anything about it, ask them to contact us at SI, admin at simcc.org and we'll be happy to enroll your school as a school partner for SIMCC. For all the other countries, uh, please go to our website, simcc.org, and on the front page, you'll see where all our country partners is. Click on it. If you see the country partner, all their contact details are there. Please contact our country partner. If you do not see your country listed on our website, then contact us at uh, admin at simcc, and we'll be happy to help you direct you to the new partner if we already have found one. If not, SIMCC from Singapore will support all countries that have not signed up for uh, as a country partner. So don't worry, wherever you are, we will be able to help you. Okay, so uh, we are delighted uh, to partner with Singapore's National Cybersecurity Research and Development Laboratory. Uh, so they were established in 2015 and funded by the National Cybersecurity uh, Program. Uh, Singapore is one of the leading nations in uh, inf informatics, and we are putting a lot of resources on cybersecurity given the worldwide threat, uh, not only to us as individuals uh, through scams, but also to companies and especially to national security. So uh, we are delighted to partner with uh, NCL because they are Singapore's national uh, agency uh, protecting our informatics uh, security uh, in, in that arena. So they have tremendous resources. A lot of research and development work is being done. Uh, and so they are a super power uh, group uh, for us to partner with. Okay, so their services include uh, compute and uh, bare metal GPUs, training, CTFs, cyber exercises, 
custom cybersecurity environments, okay? So you are learning from the right people uh, to be able to equip yourself with into a very powerful emerging professional field uh, that has got very good uh, advancement opportunities uh, in the many years to come in this particular area. Okay, so uh, the other group that we have been partnering with for the last four years is uh, the nonprofit foundation from the National University of Singapore called the Center for Nurturing Computing Excellence or SENSE. So uh, basically they, they promote computing excellence for uh, secondary all the way to university level students. And they are uh, uh, especially concerned with educating students in the fundamentals of computational thinking, intro to programming. Uh, methodology, data structures, and algorithms, competitive programming. So that is where uh, NOI comes in. So this group is also in charge of the National Olympiad of, in Informatics, which is the national organization uh, to identify the top talent in informatics so that they can be selected to represent their country. Uh, so each country only uh, can select four students, for the top students uh, at grade 12 and below. That means you must be uh, uh, before you enter into a, a tertiary institution like a polytechnic or uh, a uh, university, okay? So basically, you'll be selected, four of you will be selected to represent your country in an IOI. So uh, just a quick background on scientific competitions. There are six very important scientific competitions in the world that winners of these competitions will win a bronze medal. Even students who get honorable mention, uh, many of them end on, uh, continue on uh, to get uh, very good scholarships from top universities around the world. So even at NUS, uh, they are inviting, School of Computing is giving out a lot of scholarships to winners of uh, IMO, the International Maths Olympiad, International Physics Olympiad, International Chemistry Olympiad, International Biology Olympiad, International Astronomy Olympiad, and obviously the International Olympiad Informatics. Okay, so uh, this is one of the best fields to get into uh, because among all the scientific Olympiads, the informatics one has the least number of uh, participants, uh, probably because of awareness, but also to some extent because of the difficulty level. So this is a very good field to explore uh, if you want to go into a good university with scholarships. Okay, so Scholastic Trust Singapore is our nonprofit foundation that helps uh, students uh, pursue international academic and cultural competitions. And uh, we focus in on English, math, science, uh, informatics, uh, pedagogy and school leadership, uh, where we train teachers and students uh, and helping them to acquire skills, recognition and scholarships for success. So Scholastic Trust Singapore manages the International Junior Honor Society, which is the first honor society in the world to give out free memberships to uh, contestants, uh, as well as uh, we created the first leadership camp, uh, which we give away as scholarships, a five-day live-in camp, okay? And then uh, we have worked with uh, Southern Illinois University to create many scholarships uh, available for students. And we are hoping uh, to uh, very uh, shortly work with NUS to also offer you opportunities for scholarships in NUS. Okay, so as IMCC, you know well, uh, that's the reason why you are here. Currently, we are in about 47 countries and we donate 20% of our contest revenue that we collect from students around the world. And we use that to support our nonprofit foundation. And that's how we're able to become a uh, powerhouse in scholarships, okay? So earlier I alluded to the Young Achievers Leadership Academy. So uh, once you join the Honor Society, our top students will be given scholarships to attend a five-day, four-night camp. Okay, and then from there, they basically earn the credentials and strengthen their portfolio so that many universities will admit them as well as give them scholarships. Okay, so you can find out information from this link. Okay, so what we do at SIMCC is that we run uh, three levels of competition. So the NJCO is in the first category in yellow. So uh, this is where you join the competitions and not only can you gain an award at uh, NJCO, but you also qualify for our new uh, contest called the uh, STEAM International Tournament where by joining our math, science, informatics and arts competitions, 
you are automatically enrolled uh, for a, another award, which is the uh, STEAM International Tournament Award. Okay, and that will give you a very good opportunity to be identified by top uh, uh, companies as well as by uh, universities for scholarships in the STEM and STEAM area. Okay, uh, so recently last year, we launched our social equity program where we are hoping to help uh, for this year, 15,000 students from around the world who are disadvantaged either in terms of poverty, in terms of physical handicaps or learning disabilities, uh, please contact our country partners. We have uh, free places for you to join our national competitions in SESMO, AMO, Singapore Math Challenge, Vendor uh, National Junior Science Olympiad, National Junior Cybersecurity Olympiad, and American Maths Olympiad. So contact our country partners. If you are uh, a disadvantaged students, we have uh, we will help you get join our local contest for free. And then the moment you join our local contest for free, you once you get a silver award in SESMO or AMO, we will then bring you for the next round. You saw the green area where we will bring you for our online global finals. Okay. And then once you again do well there, uh, likely you'll be the top scoring SOAR student. We hope uh, this year we have started to bring in the top SOAR students from 13 countries for free. You'll be given CMOC training, you'll be given CMOC uh, contest and uh, the uh, travel package to come to Singapore, which includes hotel and all your expenses in Singapore covered for the next five days, four nights in Singapore in order to enable you to join the largest group of SIMCC students. Uh, we're expecting 2,000 of the top math students from around the world to compete at CMOC 2024. We hope to make this into an annual event where every year we will be able to bring the disadvantaged students from our top uh, countries uh, working with us on SIMCC contests at CMOC uh, to come to CMOC. Okay, so we welcome you. So please contact our country partners and see how you can join our uh, prestigious and well-recognized competitions uh, for free. Okay, so uh, over the last four years, SIMCC uh, and Scholastic Trust in Singapore have uh, become a powerhouse for uh, scholarships. So we created our Lighthouse Pathway Program for all our contestants. Okay, uh, we have a budget of about $2.3 million that we give out directly from our organization to help students from around the world, okay, get scholarships to achieve their dreams to improve their lives through education. So we give you uh, entry to free contests, uh, to uh, contests that include training, okay, such as NJCO, okay, and even help you to get into the best fit universities uh, through our professional guidance free of charge and bring you to our leadership camp into the honor society. Okay, uh, so uh, we are very lucky. Singapore is, a, even though we are a very, very small country, is a leading educational hub in the world. And our government is also very, very generous. They give out about six a uh, hundred million dollars of scholarships to over uh, to thousands of students from ASEAN, China, and India, and uh, they also partner with other countries like Azerbaijan. Okay, where they do give out scholarships uh, for students to study in Singapore. Okay, so uh, the other thing that we are very strong in is that we have partnered with Southern Illinois University. We have a fifty million dollar scholarship program for SIMCC students. Okay. So uh, please join our competitions. Uh, you can access many, many more opportunities for scholarships by being one of our contestants. Okay, so uh, we're delighted to present this uh, uh, sharing with all of you for the National Junior Cybersecurity Olympiad, as well as all the SIMCC competitions that will help you acquire skills, recognition and scholarships for success. So if you have any uh, questions, go do go to our website, simcc.org. So thank you, Nicholas, uh, and thank you, Omar, for uh, joining us for this video session. Uh, and I hope to see all of you very, very soon in our various competitions. Thank you.